You spend hours researching and creating your content. Pour your heart and soul into it, only to have it seen by a few people. What can you do? How can you get in front of more eyes? What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Developer's Garage. I'm your host, Ryan Overton. And today we're going to be looking at one way to help improve your odds of getting that amazing piece of content you spent all that time and effort on in front of as many people as possible. It's a tool you can incorporate into that final stage right before publishing. And no, we're not talking about a tool that hacks the Google algorithm here. We're talking about keyword extraction. You see, keywords are just one way search engines will use to get the results. And if you choose that right keyword phrase for your given piece of content, you're on your way to making it to that first page of the search results. So let's head on over to the desktop. Hey, before you go, if you enjoy this conversation, hit that thumbs up and let us know you liked it. Also, if you've got an opinion, leave it down below in the comments and make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got more great content on the way. Also, if you want to talk about it live, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at twitch.tv slash developers garage. Now let's get on over to that desktop. Before we begin, we're going to use two additional services to help automate our keyword extraction process. First, we're going to use Netlify to host our keyword extraction solution as a serverless function, meaning no infrastructure to maintain. Second, we'll use Kentico Content as the source of our content to perform the keyword extraction against. If you're not familiar with Kentico Content, it's a content as a service platform, allowing you to write your content once and distribute it out across all your various channels and platforms. It also makes it easy for us to integrate our keyword extraction solution without a ton of customization. To get started, head on over to the content website and sign up for your free account. There's a link down below. A few months ago, during an internal hackathon, one of the teams created a solution to use for the keyword extraction process. And they were also kind enough to upload it to GitHub. A link to that repo is down below, so you can head on over and follow along with us. Now, the group used two of the more popular algorithms, the Rapid Automatic Keyword Extraction Algorithm and Microsoft Azure Text Analytics. Now, with Microsoft Azure, you're going to need to get an API key for that. Now, you're more than welcome to deploy this to your own serverless function system, but the team has gone ahead and made it super easy for us to go ahead and deploy it to Netlify just by clicking this button. Now Netlify is going to ask us to connect it to our GitHub account. And once connected, it's going to basically clone the repository into your GitHub and then build and deploy the solution to Netlify. And in just under a minute, you will be up and running, ready to go. Now, with that deployed to Netlify, just make sure you make a copy of this URL, which is the link to your serverless function. And now we can head on over into content. Sign into your content solution and head on over to the project that contains all the content you need to extract keywords for. Once inside your project, head on over to the content model section and select the content type, which describes the type of content you will be writing or already exist. From here, we want to add a custom element. And then we only have a few pieces of information to fill in. So we're going to give it a name. We're going to call it Keyword Extractor. Fill in the URL from the Netlify function we deployed earlier. And then select the element that the custom element will read from. Here we'll choose the body. To get that JSON, head back on over to GitHub in the Configuring the Custom Elements section. Copy the sample JSON provided and paste that into our parameters JSON block. Here we're going to make a few small minor modifications. So in the Elements section, we're going to enter the code name of the element that we've referenced up above. To get that code name, come up to your element and press the little code name button. Copy that. And then we're going to paste that down here in our elements. Next, you would provide an Azure key if you're going to use the Microsoft Azure Text Analytics API. But we're not. We're going to use the internal rake algorithm that was provided. So just remove that, and that tells the serverless function to use the internal algorithm. 
We're also going to remove the debug true flag as that would give you any kind of debug information. We'll make save our changes and head back over to the content and assets section. And we're going to create a new content type and select the type that we assign the custom element to. In this case, the blog post type. Just fill in a few pieces of information. We're going to give the content item a name. Call this awesome piece of content. We're going to give it a title. This will be the title of your article. Awesome article. And now I'm going to paste in some text from a previous article into the body section. And now just hit refresh. And we have a list of key words, key phrases that the algorithm has produced for us. From here, you can easily remove any of these you don't think pertain to your article or you just want to slim down the pickings. With our list of keywords and key phrases provided, we can now go over to whatever medium we're going to publish our content to and place that in the tags or keywords section and increase our chances of our content being discovered. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please let me know in the comments below, or if you have some information that you want to share about keywords or ways to get your content discovered, also leave the comments below, or you can always join me in chat every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch at twitch.tv slash developers garage. Till next time.